Hello everyone and welcome to Creations by Z. I am your host, Zeri Kelly. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make candles at home. You do not need to spend a lot of money on candles at the store. You can make them right in your own kitchen. So give me a few minutes of your time and we'll get right to it. All right, everyone. So before we get started, I'm going to show you everything you will need for today's project. First of all, you will need one pouring pot, a thermometer, one bag of wax, which is eight ounces, one dye chip, one scented bottle. On today, we're gonna use cotton clean. You will need a wick, one glue dot, you will need a bow tie clip, You will need a candle tin, or if you have a jar, you can use that as well. And you will need a stir stick. I'm gonna use a wooden one here. Okay, so that's what we will need. Now we're gonna put it all together. Okay, everyone, our first step we have is a glue dot right here. So I'm gonna take off the paper here and get the glue dot. Okay, you want to stick it right in the center of your jar or your tin. This will help the candle to burn evenly. So you see that right in there? Next you will take your wick and you're going to press it down right on that glue stick right there. Make sure it's on there really good. Okay, I think we have it on there. Okay, we're gonna set that aside now. Make sure you have your water boiling. That's gonna be very important that the water is boiling. So while the water is boiling, we're gonna get our candle pot here. We're gonna take our wax. This is eight ounces once again. We're gonna pour that right in there. Okay, now our water is boiling. We're gonna go ahead and place our pot inside of the water. Now, since it's boiling, we are gonna reduce our heat because the only thing we're trying to do now is melt our wax. So we're gonna melt this wax. It's gonna take a little time to, to melt it and I'll come right back once it starts melting. Okay, now you wanna get your stick out so you can start stirring your wax. As you see, it's starting to melt. Now would be a good time also to put your thermometer inside of the wax. Now we wanna make sure that we don't go above 100 in 85 degrees. So we're just going to stir this up. And let the rest of this wax melt down. And just keeping an eye on our temperature to make sure that we do not exceed 185 degrees. Okay, we're going to keep stirring this up till we get to 185 degrees. And we're gonna get to the next step. All right, everyone. So now that our wax is starting to melt, you wanna get your, add your color in there. So our dye, we're gonna add that in there. Now we selected a forest green color dye for our candle. So we're gonna just mix this on up in there and make sure that is Blend it in very well with the wax. Once again, keep an eye on your temperature. Make sure that you are not exceeding 185 degrees. Okay, and we're getting pretty close here. 
we're at 175 right now so we're getting close okay so we're gonna keep stirring this up we're almost there all right everyone we have reached 185 degrees so now what you want to do take your thermometer out grab your pot take it out of the water and just sit it right on top of the stove right there now whatever fragrance that you decide to go with now this is the time to add it this is eight ounces of clean cotton so make sure you at least have eight ounces because you want to have a good scent so your candle will have a good throw so you're just going to stir it up in the wax the melted wax it smells good right now i wish you guys were here to smell it okay so we have all the fragrance in there okay now what we want to do is take our wick and probably was wondering what this stick was for it has a hole in it right there so you just put your wick right down in there and it's going to hold this wick in place all right so now you want to take your wax and you're going to pour it right into your container make sure you do not get the wax on the wick as you are pouring it in okay it's in a good position there right there in the center voila okay so we want to let this sit here it's in a good position there we're going to let it cool off now you do not want to burn this candle for another 24 hours give it at least 24 hours before you burn the candle All right, everyone, just a quick tip here. Um, you're gonna have some extra wax left over. If you do, you want to wash your pot out immediately. Get some soap and water, and you want to rinse this out because you will be reusing this again. So you want to clean it up thoroughly so the scent that you have in this particular batch, you won't have it for your next batch. All right. All right, guys, on to tip number two. Let your candle dry naturally. Do not try to place it in the refrigerator or freezer to speed up the process. Once again, it will take approximately 24 hours before this candle will be ready to burn. So let it just sit in place. Have a little patience and then burn it. All right. All right, everyone, we have our finished product here. It's been 24 hours. And this is the finished product. Okay, so now what you want to do is get a good pair of scissors. And you want to cut down your wick, maybe down to a fourth. So your candle will burn nicely. Okay, pull that right up there. So well, that's what we have here. All right, now it's time to burn it. All right, there you go. How to make a candle. Alright guys, in order for us to keep these videos coming to you, I need your help as well. I need you guys to share, I need you to like, and also subscribe to our channel. Get your family and friends joined in on this Creations by Z journey. 
All right, everyone, that was today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll actually try to make candles at home as well. Now, if you want to make them at home, you can go on Amazon and get a beginner's kit. They're not that expensive. They also make excellent gifts for your family and your friends. If you're going to a party, you can give it to a host as well. So on next week, I will be going on a field trip to find some pumpkins and actually coming home and doing some carvings. You don't want to miss that. It will be Sunday at 3 p.m. So thanks for tuning in to Creations by Z today, and we'll see you guys next week.